Hi guys, thanks for being here. Tremendous atmosphere. I'm just, um, I don't take for granted how we're growing this thing. And uh, you know, when I got here a couple years ago, we didn't have this kind of crowd on a Sunday in non-conference. So really proud of our marketing team as well as our players for earning this type of energy in the building. Um, I thought it was a good win. I thought we did a lot of the things we wanted to do. We're obviously on a quest to be as good as we can possibly be. So there's a lot of things we can clean up, but um, I thought it was a good day for us. And uh, we'll keep going from here. There's a lot of kids out there who want autographs, so hopefully we can get Ray and Ken's out there to them, but I'm sure uh, you get questions for them too. Um, do you want to start us off, or do you have anything? Yeah. Maybe, Brandon, just talk a little bit about, you know, obviously it was pretty tight first quarter, uh, and then you guys were just able to really make, a, make some changes, or you know, tell me what you did in that second quarter to really get the momentum going, and, and defensively as well. Um, I think our team was really hungry and eager to win. So when we came out, that we didn't, we, didn't, we never underestimate any team. But when they came out with that momentum, it was kind of like, uh, it was like a moment of reality for us. So we did. We just embraced that and stepped up to the challenge to compete. Sixty uh, points in the paint. I mean, how important is it for you guys to get, you know, those points, those you know, easy layups and things yeah. like that? I mean, I think we're trying to be as hard to guard as we can possibly be. And it's still a work in progress, but we know that we have three-point shooters, we have kids who can penetrate, and we have um, some really, um, really incredible scores in the paint. You know, Rhea obviously um, is just so long and a terrific finisher. And then, you know, we get some of our big guards in the paint. You know, as as well, we want to we want to put pressure on the paint in a number of different ways that obviously open up the three-point line as well. But I thought that was important to, tonight that we we asserted our will a little bit in that space. Coach, how would you characterize uh, Juju's game? How long do you have? <laughs> um, I mean, she just she she has it all. Um, I think she's special would be the best way that I could characterize it, right? At her size, her uh, with her skill set, is we haven't seen it in women's basketball very often. Um, so you know, you can see it out there. You know, her her passing, her vision, her ability to score, shoot the three, get to the rim. Um, there really is, is is not a lot that she doesn't have. I think what we've all been the most impressed with is. To see her learn and adjust on the fly with what coverages are coming, like you don't usually see that. And I'm talking about from a quarter to a quarter or a game to a game. It's the growth and the work ethic and just like the magnetism she has. I really do think we have a lot of really good players, but I think they all want to be good for her, just like she wants to be good for them. And that doesn't always happen with a, you know, a, a, a player that's a star player. And I think that's her maybe her best gift is that people like playing with her, and and she is, um, you know, a teammate that brings a lot of excitement and joy to the team. Mackenzie, I saw you just kind of nodding your head about, you know, you guys want to do it for her and she wants to do it for you. you just kind of talk about that, that you know, chemistry or whatever you think it best describes it. Yeah, I, I think Coach, you made a good point in that, you know, we're lucky to have that environment. I think sometimes when there's like a best star player like that, we have a great team. We all love each other on and off the court. Um, and that's a testament to the culture that Coach G's built, the kids who have been here, and also like Juju herself, she's a great, Person. She's a great teammate. Everyone loves her. We love being around her. And so I think, like, even though she's a freshman, like, when you see her going hard, when you see her setting that standard, it, it's contagious, right? It's contagious if anyone does it, but especially if, if the best player is doing it. So um, I feel like, yeah, it's just a testament to her character. She's a great teammate. Um, yeah, Mackenzie, again, the, the first quarter was close, but you came out really explosive. Two quick layups and then a three. What could you kind of give attribute that early success to just coming out the gate, especially in a tight first quarter? Uh, I think just being aggressive. I mean, I don't think I, I necessarily did anything different. I think I was in the right spots. Um, and, and I'm encouraged to take those shots when I'm open. Um, and, and my teammates found me. Like, Ray was throwing great outlets. Um, we've been working on pushing the pace. So I just felt like I was really trying to hone in on that. And I think it resulted in a couple of good, good easy buckets. Mackenzie, uh, you had a plus 25 uh, on the stat sheet. I think uh, a lot of your game uh, doesn't necessarily equate to like being on the stat sheet. Uh, can you talk to me about your role on the team and, and how it is that you fuel, you fuel your team? Yeah, um, that's a good question. I think I, I have a leadership role um, in terms of bringing everyone together, whether that's um, you know in a dead ball after a free throw situation. I think I'm an organizer. I'm getting, us, getting people where they need to be um, and just being that vocal presence and a vocal leader. And I think, uh, I mean, one of the reasons I came here is Coach G kind of knows, like knew me well, and I knew that being somewhere just for one year, like you said, that my game doesn't really show up on the stat seat as much as others. Um, and I knew that she knew that about me. I knew that she would put me in the right places to be successful. So um, yeah, I'm just trying to lead. I, I have, you know, years of experience. We have 
young people, we have old people, but I think we're all new regardless to each other. So I just try to kind of be that glue and be a vocal leader. Um, <clears throat> speaking about like the, the camaraderie and the, the love that the team has for each other, um, India Auto gets in the game towards the end with a minute left. Can you guys just maybe just open whoever, speak to how that feels? Yeah, we really want to see everybody win. I mean, like you saw AG get her first bucket, we're going crazy. Like yeah. I'm like seriously, one through whatever. Like like we all love each other. We want to see each other. Um, you know, we want to see each other like have success. So I think and and Otto's out there every day. She be whooping us in practice. So yeah. we know that like when, when that shot goes up, that's why we're all going like this because we know that she makes those. So we just want to see each other win. I think for sure she she definitely deserved those moments because it's how she is. It's off the court how she just boosts up at, boosts us as a teammate whether she's in a game or not she just she's a great person a fun person teammate to be around and I think like to me I think we would all say her value is so high whether or not that three goes in whether or not she gets in the game like we all it, it's unquestionable how valuable she is to this team I could go on about that so so we don't need to see it kind of come in the game but I think the way you see people react is just that's the way we can outwardly sort of show that appreciation for who she is um, and so, you know, we, we, we wish that went in, but uh, it doesn't change, you know, kind of the value that she has um, every single day. Rhea, how has your role um, changed on the team this year? Obviously, you didn't have a Juju last year, but your point total, your per game scoring has gone up. How has your role changed this year? Um, well, coming into my junior year, I've been here with Coach G since my freshman year, so I know what she's expecting me every year. It's like growth every year. I want to show that. So far, as team, I want to be the dominant force in the paint, so that's what I'm trying to do out there, I'm trying to be a force um, as a center, whether it's setting screen and, and getting my guards open or it's rebounding and blocking shots. So I'm really just looking to be out there and be a dominant force for my team. All right, let's do two more questions then. <laughs> so Rhea, uh, talking about your defensive prowess, uh, the game was tight in the first quarter, uh, but I noticed in the second quarter, you became a lot more vocal calling out coverages. Can you just talk to me a little bit about what your expectation is on defense and being uh, one of the defensive leaders on the team? I take a lot of pride defensively for our team when we're getting when a team scores multiple paint points in the paint. I take pride in that. I fault myself in that, and I'm letting my guards know I got your back in there. But I felt like I came out a little bit slow in the first quarter. My player came down with uh, four quick points, so I felt I put that on myself and I challenged myself to come out that second half and set the defensive tone for my team. All right, last question. Uh, and then uh, Raya, you also you had twenty, um, and it, it seemed like after the first quarter, uh, you kind of saw something. Uh, on defense and uh, on offense, you kind of dominated and you kind of played a little bu bully ball. What did you kind of see in that uh, where you were able to get more, uh, kind of get going in the paint and, you know, kind of go in the, in the block and kind of do what you want to do? Well, I just took, uh, I took advantage of the coach subbing and smaller players on me. And the better I, better screener I am, the more available I am to score in the paint. And um, I don't know, hit the weight room. Shout out to Coach Lee, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.